creatives how are you welcome back to the nerd creative channel build the moomin house box 12 part 3 in this video we'll be starting issue 42 of the build grab yourself a coffee sit back relax and enjoy so here we are as always with every build there comes component parts and the magazine so these are the component parts that we'll be using there's not a lot in this in this uh, issue so let's have a look really good graphic in there so let's have a look so we'll be starting the veranda which is here and we'll be building this chair and this pillow for the uh, Moomin Papa's bed Okay. Let's see. A lover of secrets, naughty little nibbling. Cute little character there. Moomin falls in love. The lovers can't admit their feelings to each other. Really good cartoons. So, here's all the components that we have with this stage. Um, and then the step-by-step -step instructions, as you can see, the veranda, the chair. And then we complete the chair and then the pillow here. Nice little graphic there underneath. So as always, what I like to do is I like to check that we have everything for the build. So I like to fold the magazine in half and then I check it with the components which are here. And they, they're always securely uh, packed in these blister packs. Get this open. So, so this is the veranda base there. There is a supporting wall. The front wall. the backrest and the front legs of the chair, the seat of the chair, and then we've got this fabric for the pillow for the bed. So we have everything that it, it's, it says that we have, which is good. So, grab yourself a coffee sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's begin. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get this um, front wall here and we have to make sure that it's the right way around. So they've got these two tabs at the top and two sections missing at the bottom there. So it goes that way up and then we have this veranda base here and we've got to glue these two together so I've got my wood glue here and I've got a cocktail stick so I'm going to put some glue on the cocktail stick yeah. and we've got to just put glue on these two tabs here like that a bit of glue there a bit of glue there like that I'm just going to do it a little bit around the sides as well because that's where they touch. Make sure we've got enough glue. Just move the glue around because you don't need that much glue for it. There we go. And then all we have to do is remember these two tabs at the top the two gaps at the bottom and all we have to do is slot them 
slot them into place like that. And we need to clean up the excess glue because there is a little bit there and there. A little bit of excess glue inside as well. So I'm just going to clean that up. I mean, I know it dries transparent, but you know, I like to keep it clean as well. So that's. Oh, that had to happen. There we go. It's making sure it's all flush and in place. So we need to leave that to dry. As you can see there, we need to leave that to dry. So the last thing we have to do with this is to add the supporting wall. So it's got a tab there that goes into this middle part here, and then this tab goes in there. So I need to glue these these two tabs. So get my glue and cocktail stick. Not the last thing we'll be doing with this but it's the last thing that's to be done um, in this magazine in this issue so let's glue it up like that. and then any excess glue I can put on this big tab here it goes that way I can glue all down here as well it just says glue the tab so I'll just glue the tab um, get some more glue on the cocktail stick as always Do this tab now. Let's glue it there and the sides. Like that. And then just slot that into place. that Let's check for excess glue so that's the start of it now let's just remove the excess glue that's the start of our veranda so I just need to leave that to dry so the next thing we have to do is is the rocking chair which uh, is here and here there are other components to add to it uh, in the next issue so we've got our scalpel and there's little tabs here one there and one there just to release them there's one and two releases them from their housing quite a tight fit there So first thing we've got to do is this is the seat section and we've got to put these are the front legs and what we have to do is 
position them over there. You don't need glue because it's going to be a tight fit and you just push down until it gets into those two slots on either side. There. On the other side. There. So that's the front legs there. I know it looks a bit, a bit strange but look we're going to be adding a load of things to this. So and, and, the, and for the back legs what we have to do is We've got to use some glue on this. So there's a, as you can see there, you can see there, there's two, there's two kind of uh, slots there. So we'll bring our wood glue back and the cocktail stick. Oops. That's a that's a bit too much glue there. <laughs> let me just res let me just rescue that now. Okay. So we we'll put glue in these two slots. So still a bit too much glue. So we put some glue in this slot here, like that, and then in the on on the other side as well. There, just in that slot there. Fit the back on the same way we did the front. So we get the it's a bit tight, but we get the legs in. So we, there, and just slide it up until it's until it slots into place. Okay, there. Remove the excess glue. Going to position, let's position it while it, before it dries. Make sure it sits up properly there. So that's the chair, as you can see, and that's where we leave the chair for now. But we will be doing more to the chair. I'm just checking that. It's sitting right, okay. So I'm going to position it. So we're going to position it straight like that, which is the way they have it. Okay. So the next thing that we have to do is we've got to do this pillow for Mimi and Papa's bed. So I brought the template back. Um, from when we did Mimi Mama's uh, pillow, just just need to get the beds again. Yeah, I meant to have them. I meant to have them to hand, but I left them over there. So. There we go, as you can see there, look, that's Mimi and Mama's bed and that's Mimi and Papa's bed. We just need to get a pillow on there. So, I'm gonna put them aside. So, it's a different pillar as well. So, different, see, uh, that's, Mimi and Ma that's Mimi and Mama's there and that's the, that's Mimi and Papa's there. That's, that's his, his, his fabric. So, let's get this opened. Um, along with building, doing, uh, putting this together is, as you can see here, the dreaded double-sided tape. I know, right? I'm sure you have as much fun with it as I do. So, so, right. The first thing we've got to do is. Got to fold it in half like that. Fold it in half. It's really funny because it's saying place the template. 
right here. So we've got to fold it in half because we've got to. We need this line for the template. So there, there's our folded line there. As you can see, it's like a book. And then we put the template there. Make sure that it's it's kind of centered all the way around. And then get a pencil, which I just happen to have one to hand, like I always do. Right. So just just make sure it's it's. Make sure it's lined up with that line, that folded line, and then make sure that the gap, the gaps are pretty much equal. And then, oops, keep sliding. Then and just draw around like that. And there. And then flip it over. And then do the same on the other side. Get it roughly in the middle like I have. We've got it matched to there, so just draw the draw the line there, draw the line there, and then draw. There we go. That is how that's done. And now what we've got to do is along the lines drawn. Along the lines drawn around the template, fold the long edges of the fabric inwards and press down. So we've got to fold them in like that there. So it says fold along. Fold along the edges of the fabric inwards and press down. Along the lines drawn, yep, so where the lines are, what we've drawn, we need to fold, we need to fold like that. Top and bottom. Like that, there, and just, yeah, like that. Up and bottom, just create like a crease, and then it says, Open the folds and apply double sided tape about one centimeter width to the edge of the fabric. Open the fold and apply the double sided tape. Mm. Yeah, so I'll open the fold and apply the double sided tip. Okay, so I'm going to cut some off because because it will be easier. Trust me, double sided tip is, is nobody's friend. So let me just line it up there I think that's where we are there and then I'm gonna put another piece on the other side trying to line it up to the edge that might be a bit short again let's get it lined up just yeah, like that I just want to check that it's not sticking out at the top it is slightly but you know what that's fine so I'm gonna trim the edges because it is easier to do if you do that, so I'm going to trim off the edges. Yeah, I ain't looking forward to the next part. 
you know where we're going with this, don't you? So I'll either get it done really quickly, or it'll be a time lapse. Um, all the four corners. Okay, open the folds. Open the folds and apply double sided tape one centimeter wide. Okay, fold, uh, fold the four corners of the fabric diagonally. Remove the backing from the double sided tape. I don't know what it's asking me to do. It's asking me to fold the four corners diagonally like that. It's a bit strange why it's asking me to do that, but I'll do it. It's not always to know a reason why with this, because um, they know what they they know what they're doing, and it always works out in the end. So I'm just going to fold these four in. So if that, when that folds in, it, has a, it is at an angle, isn't it? So I'll fold that in there. And then fold, fold that in and fold that in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. Because if I don't fold them and go like that, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to put. So we've got the masking tape, uh, masking, uh, double side tape there. And then approximately four mils. Um, we have to fold approximately four mils. Is it, do we have to cut them? For? Fold the four corners. the fabric diagonally, four corners diagonally. I'm not really sure what it's asking me to do. Is it that way? Hmm, not sure. Yeah, so we've got those so we've got we got the uh, we've got those folded down and then we've got the double sided tape. Got the double sided tape on this side so what i've done is i've cut some um i've cut some um paper towel and i folded it over so you have got to make sure that it's smaller than the template uh, which i did from from that side and that side i made it smaller and then i folded it over and over and over and over it might be it might be quite too it might be too thick so So uh, peel the protective layer off the double sided tape from step 5 and place the folded napkin. So when I did this last time it was weird because it there was no there was no there was no tape on this side here to keep it shut. So I'm not really sure. Yeah, there's no tape on here to keep it to keep it closed. So if I put like when I put that in there like that, and then I close it, well, where the where the line is, the line's there, right? So if I put it in there like that, and then I close it like that, there, it's like it's still open at the edges, but that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. So. The protective layer off the double sided tape. Yeah, for some reason it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that. I don't know why. Um, because what I would do is I would have maybe sealed up the other side as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, 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 uh, this double sided tape off and I'm hoping it's coming in one. 
which uh, that's not. Let's see if it will come in one. No. Yeah, we'll, we might have a problem with this. So. No. <laughs> Just when you think it's going to, it doesn't. You just just to make sure it's pressed down and then try and peel it off. So it's it's always the best way when you try and get to press it down so that it's it's stuck onto the fabric without and then peeling and then you need to peel it off in such a way that it's it, it's. Uh, Okay, so that, I'm not even going to speak about how bad that was. Right, so I've got this, I've got this here, I'm just going to make sure it's folded right, and then it needs to go, I don't even see the folded line anymore, because, oh yeah, there it is. So I'm going to sit it on the folded line, in the middle, right there, and then what I'm supposed to do is, I'm just supposed to fold it over, and before I stick it together, I just want to, Make sure it sits right. And just make sure there and there and those. Just get those two lines. All right, there we go. This is the way. This is the way. Uh, maybe Mama's was. And then you just kind of stuff all this in here like that. But I would stick the the sides as well. That's the way I would do it. But that's not the way you do it for this. It's just like that there. I just see. Look at that there. That's really neat. So I'm going to bring Mimi and Papa's bed back, and then this. I'm just going to see which is the best side. Sit up there. and then place the fully napkin in there yeah done everything I've done everything it said I'm just gonna work out which side is best is it that side or is it that side I mean it looks a bit it looks a bit too big to be a pillow yeah do you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just gonna put um, Double sided tape on it. Hmm. <laughs> that might this, that, this might be a bad idea. Because you know how it goes with double sided tape. So I'm going to sit. I'm going to just put some double sided tape in the middle like that there. Right? Just in the middle like that. And then just. Like that. So I'm just going to clip it. I'm just gonna have a little go. I'm just gonna have a little go with this this double sided tape because we know we know how much of a nightmare it is. But it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Let's see if we can just I mean if I can't if I can't do it, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm just gonna glue it. <laughs> because it's not it's not a real bed, you know. Nobody's going to be sleeping on it, so you know what? I'm going to glue it. I'm going to put some super glue on it, and I'm going to yeah. So I'm going to put some super glue on it, and I'm just going to stick it. Let me see which way I was going to put it. Am I going to put it that way? Or am I going to put it that way? Right, that way. Right. I'm just, I'm just going to put some super glue on it. Cause you know what? I'm not fucking about with it. Let me just get some. I know it's not really good with the with the fabric, but I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to stick it on the bed. Let me just stick it on the bed like that. There. I'm just going to stick it there on the bed. Because <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with. I'm done with this double-sided tape business. All right. Okay. Let me just press that down.
I'll tell you what, it's really warm today. Really, really warm. So, do I need to get the window open or the fan on, but I can't do that while I'm recording. Right, there we go. That's, okay, let me see. There we go. So there's, there's Moomin, Moomin Papa's bed, and there's Moomin Mama's bed there, as you can see. They're completed. And this completes issue 42 of the build. As always, we've got merch for the channel. We have our nerd creative range and our stay creative range. Links in the description. Get whatever you want. I'd like to thank you for your company. I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative.